11, our streets, our stories. A high crime area going through what some hope is a renaissance. Last fall, the Butler Tarkington neighborhood was dealing with its fourth homicide in two months. Now, a streak of a better kind. Butler Tarkington has gone 100 days without a homicide. The question tonight, what changed and how did this turn around? We go back to RTV6's Melissa Mahadeo with answers for you tonight. 100 days. This, this is not a celebration. But for the Butler Tarkington community. The mothers of the, of the neighborhoods are always the good neighborhoods. Yeah. It is a sign. We've had 67% decrease in uh, drug trafficking and activity in this area. By October of 2015, this neighborhood had been hit with four homicides in a matter of weeks. But one night, something changed. We had a conversation out there that night that if we were going to turn this neighborhood around, that the community itself had to do it. Led by Reverend Charles Harrison, the 10-point coalition decided to focus in on this neighborhood in desperate need of help. The police also jumped on board, heavily monitoring this area. This is a good community, and it's unfortunate that um, we have a few individuals, less than 5%, who just don't get it. Then the residents stood up, and the three united, canvassing the streets and communicating with one another. If you bring everybody together and the people in this neighborhood say enough is enough, we're not going to tolerate it, we're not going to accept it anymore. Thursday marked 100 days without a homicide. A lot of people have turned their lives around this neighborhood. The focus now is on the next 100 to follow. Melissa Mahadeo, RTV6.